Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Shorten the cord on it. Oh, well, yeah, well, I'm going to do what I did here. <laughs> you wall breakers. Yeah. Then I'm going to move all this shit. And then... Is this light too bright? Nope, it's okay. perfect. Perfect. Okay. Okay. <laughs> all righty, so uh, take a look at this unit here and see if it has any overcurrent protection for fire protection. It does not. No. I'm doing with the driller, I wonder. Why? The driller isn't out there. Hang on a minute, David. How did he get it out? I mean, my car was in the way. Got got past it. Okay. <laughs> I, I don't know. Probably move, helping somebody move. Yeah. No, oh, Jonathan, he never, I, never I don't want to pause the camera. No, no, no. We're not going to. We're not. We're not. Because I might end up losing it. Which I notice no. I've lost one from the past. Yes. <laughs> oh, those, those are fuses. Yes. Yes. Holy mackerel. Oh, those are the screws. 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 Oh, screws. <laughs> so, uh, do you want to show people the house views and the views that they put in the stairs? Yes. yes. Okay. Where's the 15 one? Right there. I found it there. This is your typical, typical house view. It's got a big filament in it. And it's got, and this is the one we put in the tape deck, which is a much smaller filament. When something happens and something shorts out in the deck, instead of getting hot and burning up the deck here, um, or burning the cord and getting hot, the uh, the uh, this filament will burn out before the hot the fuse blows, house fuse blows, or because it ain't before anything get hot and melt. And uh, UL and the fire and the consumer consumer product, product safety, safety commission. commission should require these fuses. Yes, they should. Mm -hmm. And while the power transformer is burning up inside, like yeah. see these rectifier diodes down here? Yes. Yeah. In the power capacitor? Yeah. If one of Those them goes short, yeah. it'll overheat the transformer. transformer. And the transformer can start drawing up to 20 amps, which the score is not rated for. Four. And it'll get hot and it can melt. And this is not polarized, by the way. So. And it can start the house on fire if it's next to some drapes and the cord shorts out. So a UL and the Consumer Product Safety Commission should require overcurrent protection for these uh, for these setbacks and CD players and, CD play and tuners, tuners, preamplifiers, turntables. Mm -hmm. All stereo components should have a few as enough for overcurrent protection. Yes. Okay. Use this. I didn't bring my other thing to, uh, to hold it. Yeah. My dad's got some hard work to make this work. We can make it work. We can manage to make it work. I'm in the video sitting right here, right? Yeah, this is okay. Yeah, that's the record lever. Hold that. 
guys. Now this is a basic fire prevention. Yes, it is. Basic fire prevention. <laughs> now, would the manufacturer and underwriters laboratory and the Consumer Product Safety Commission be liable if there were to be a fire? You, you think you think they should be? Yeah, you think they would be, but they didn't have the fuses in these things. Which they should have. They should have the fuses. Definitely. I'm making a nice twisted wrap here. So get it. That's a that's a sweet. Okay, do you want to hold it? Hold it like this. I think it. I think it holds it behind here, like this, so I'm not in the way of the camera. Oh. But then, but then I'm in the way of David. Though, nope, no, 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 no. Hold it off my hand. Hold my arm. Oh, guess so. Wow, that does look like factory work. Oh, That's what we're looking at. <laughs> we're aiming for factory yes. work, baby. So I'm kind of over this way. You got one right here. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to roll that way. Everything's going to roll that way. <laughs> Wait a minute, we lost a Wasn't my dad's then, huh? He said it wasn't. Now you are an authorized service technician. Yes, I am. Mm -hmm. I screwed up here. Okay, it's tight. I don't. No, I don't need to tighten. And snap right below the right below the thing. Oh yeah, right on the nut if you can. Okay. Back. Oh, sorry. Oh, that was good. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna get. Zip ties out. You have any clamper fuses? Uh, no. I'll look for them and see if you can find them. That's a five. How many watts is that, John? Uh, this one is uh, 16. So you only need one then. Right. So I'm zip tying this wire so it stays up. Three, oh, two and a half. Let's say that's the one there. Look at it and say it's the one that's in there. Well, 
right, right? Who's this one? About the six. Okay, I'm going to have to adjust this a little bit. All right. I got one right here. It's two. I got two amp right here. Two and a half amp. Believe that. Yes, yes. Yes. We're putting a one amp in here. That's what you want. So now this unit has overcurrent protection that the manufacturer should have put in in the first place. Yeah, that's <laughs> There's little things you can push. You can yeah, push one put another tie up here so it won't fall down there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or small one, yes. Mm -hmm. In Hawaii, and mommy's in my small. And uh, and mommy's in Hawaii. And uh, David's mommy is in Homeda. Right? Canada. Yes. Okay, so I'll bring that camera down and show you close up what it looks like. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it and there it is all done. And we used a Weller uh, high quality soldering iron, which is an industrial soldering iron.